what up this is going to be a short and sweet one about pretty much just reading labels and just food choices in general um, there's so many things that you can choose to eat and pretty much if you're looking at a label on something and you can't pronounce whatever the heck word it is when it's clearly just something that you don't know what it is you probably shouldn't be eating it you know what I mean uh, the less processed the better and if you're ever craving something that's gonna have like I guess if you're craving some really heavy food or something something that you're like some comfort food like mac and cheese or anything like that there's so many alternatives that you can have these days that are gonna cut the calories and the, the calories is the big thing when it comes to losing weight like no matter what you're gonna wanna be at a caloric deficit you know you're gonna wanna try to cut calories as much as you can when you can unless you're doing like some bulking stuff but there's so many things with cauliflower mac and cheese stuff like that I'll probably make a video on some cauliflower mac and cheese that I could do uh, but even cheese is a lot of calories at the end of the day but I mean it's gonna be a lot less calories making cauliflower mac and cheese than it's gonna be with some noodle mac and cheese you know what I mean so try to always look for alternatives um, and there's so many like recipes online that you could find to cut calories in half or even more just by having some kind of alternative do it like so this week I'll make a video about uh, some zoodles like some zucchini noodles where you just spiral it out and use like some sugar-free tomato sauce or you can even make your own tomato sauce maybe I'll maybe I'll make some tomato sauce of my own so you can show you how really simple it is to do all that stuff but I mean even if you don't like if you just want the convenience of just having a sugar-free one there's a there's a, there's so many brands out now that like are trying to pay more attention to stuff like that you know what I mean so really like look at the labels on everything if you can't pronounce it stay away from it um, look for like really filling foods that are like whole foods like if you're ever craving something that's gonna be a lot of food that you just want like your stomach filled eat a big salad like you can eat like a giant salad even if you use like a really high fat or a really high calorie um, dressing it's gonna be way less calories than whatever else you planned on eating that was good is gonna send you over the top you know what I mean so what I've been doing lately is if I do get craving like a big meal or something like that I'll eat a giant salad first and then I'll portion out like just a small plate of something else that I'm gonna make and then eat that and then if I even feel like the slightest bit full I'm done I'll put it I'll box it up put it in the refrigerator and eat more of it later but at the end of the day try to try to eat like a salad at least once a day like I know it's hard like I, I, don't, I don't like salads that much but I love salads when I'm eating it you know what I mean but it's just kind of the idea of it like you're like how oh, do I really want a salad when I can make this uh, beef and rice or something you know what I mean it's weird how that is because like when I'm eating a salad I'm like dang this is so good like I could eat this all the time you know what I mean but it's just like kind of like a kind of a mental thing I guess but I'm still getting over that <laughs> but it's been good uh, overall like just doing doing that now like just having like a big bowl of salad before and not too crazy I mean a big bowl of salad but like I'm not going like crazy like with extra toppings or like extra dressing or anything like that like if anything maybe I'll have like a little parmesan on there maybe add some olives or tomatoes just whatever you want you know what I mean but anything like that is gonna be a lot less calories than like going somewhere else and like especially fast food or anything like where they're just adding sugar and all this extra stuff to your to your, to your meals that you really don't want in the first place so another thing that kinda helps I guess is uh, drinking water too before before you eat because then your your stomach's gonna be a little bit full anyways and then you'll be like okay well I really don't need that much anyways it's kind of an easier way to see how much food you actually really need instead of being like okay well I'm gonna just eat this big meal with no like liquids in there and then you like you're like wondering like later down the line if if maybe you overate or something like when you do try to drink some water you're like oh I'm so full you know I don't want to it's like well you gotta stay hydrated like most of us are always 
like not drinking enough water. Like I drink a lot of water and I know I still don't drink enough water. Like I'm drinking a gallon every day, but for how much I'm working out, I should probably be drinking at least like a gallon and a half a day. Like seriously, like you should really be drinking half your body weight in ounces, uh, every single, every single day. Like, and that's if you're like just doing regular stuff. If you're going crazy like me, like doing crazy workouts and stuff and just sweating buckets, you like any workout that you do, you're going to want to, you're going to want to put back as much water that like went out. Like, so what I've been doing lately is like, I'll weigh myself before a workout and after, because you'll see how much water weight you're losing and you want to, you want to get that back or you're going to be dehydrated. You know what I mean? Unless you're really trying to cut water weight and then just, just cut water. But I mean, we need water. It's super important. And just, just keep grinding, keep doing it, keep killing it. Uh, pay attention to the labels because the labels is what gets a lot of people like some some labels will be lying to you it'll be like oh this is so healthy this is a great thing and then you're like what's what the heck is this word on the back like pretty much if it isn't the basic ingredients that you would assume is in the thing stay away from the dang thing you know what i mean <laughs> anyways don't feed the zombies have a good one